What is going on guys, Chris Rennick here. Before this video starts, I just wanted to personally thank every single one of you that has went in the comments and just said good things and tell me to try to get better quickly. We're gonna really try. Um, obviously, as you can see, we're still in the hospital and we're probably gonna be here for a little bit longer, but I did have a bunch of DMs and a bunch of questions in the comments asking how you guys can support. And to be honest, I've been thinking about doing this for a really long time, so I finally just decided to make a Patreon. Now, I'm not asking for a free handout by any means. This is not what I'm asking for. The Patreon that I created, it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be exciting. There's a bunch of different tiers. If you guys wanna support, you can go down in the description below. Um, we're gonna be doing podcasts. We're gonna be doing private videos as well, like things that I just won't post on YouTube or things that I would post on YouTube, but um, I'm only going to show it for the supporters on Patreon. So there's going to be a lot of different stuff. You're going to be able to like join in on the live streams, actually play with me and my friends, and we're going to be doing merch giveaways every single month, and there's a certain tier that you can get a different mystery pack every single month. So definitely just check it out. There's definitely some troll tiers in there as well, and if um, you're a big baller and you want to come hang out, then that's completely fine with me. But uh, I want to thank you guys all in advance. Like I said, this is something that I've been thinking about a lot. And and since I've been in the hospital, I've been thinking about really good ideas and things that we can do just to make the Patreon a nice, close community that you guys can kind of get in my life more personally, if that makes sense, and just be able to like feel like you're hanging out with me and my friends, and we're gonna be doing private live streams and stuff like that. So if that's stuff you're interested in, um, cool. If not, it's totally okay. It's not for everyone, and I just want to thank you guys in advance and enjoy the video. All right, guys. Well, I haven't filmed in a few days. I've been here for three days now. This this is so awful, man. I'm so bored. I literally still can't move like my right um, leg because it's just so bruised and so sprained, like my knee. Uh, they're I guess they're bringing me to uh, rehab to try to get my right leg working again because I'm not gonna be able to put pressure on that leg for a long time. Like I said before, my wrist is broken, so like my whole left side is pretty much useless sucks man i'm really upset we gotta do what you gotta do we're gonna try to get better soon i'm just sick of sitting here dude it's awful sick what a wonderful burger look at this burnt piece of junk what is going on guys chris Krutchnik here and today we are still sitting in the hospital it's currently day three and um still can't walk they want to bring me to rehab so I can try to actually bear any weight on my right knee. But before we do that, we're actually going to go get a CAT scan because my mom's just worried because like we did the x-ray on the foot. We did the x-ray on the um, wrist and they in fact were both broken. So we just want to make sure before we go to rehab that like um, we didn't miss anything in the x-ray. So we're going to go get the CAT scan and to be honest, man, I've been hearing nothing but bad news. It'll be real nice for them to be like, yeah, no, it's just bruised. Everything's good in the neighborhood. Let's hope, because this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. All right, so just got out of the CAT scan for the good old knee right there. Um, dude, I'm praying that it's good, because all I've heard was bad news. Shattered ankle, broken wrist, and at first it was a sprained knee or just a bruised knee, just really hurt knee. Let's hope it stays that way, but we just wanted to be um, safe and sorry because last thing I need to do is go to rehab and go to stand on and my knee falls off or snaps off. I don't freaking know, but I'm watching the History Channel. <sighs> ah, so finally, some good news in my life. My kneecap or my knee is not broken whatsoever. Um, That doesn't mean we didn't tore it, like tear any ligaments or anything because a CAT scan doesn't um, look at ligaments. It only looks at like your bone. But they're going to bring me to the rehab center right now. And they're going to try to make my right leg better. Because honestly, I can't get out of here if I can't get out of this bed. Like, this is the second day in a row that I've tried. Like, PT came to my room early this morning and I could not stand up on my own. Like, even with them helping me, I still couldn't put pressure on my right leg. And obviously, I can't put any pressure on my left ankle because it is shattered and the surgery is not for another week. I think because they have to wait for the swelling to go down and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm sitting here shopping on Amazon. Like, I, I just bought a, an iPad pillow because, like, I, it's so hard to use an iPad with one hand. I'm trying to play, like, Among Us and stuff. Not easy. But I got a stylus pen and stuff. Courtney's birthday's in a few days. I got to get her some exciting things. I'm excited for that. But, honestly, not too much going on here. Just a whole lot of this. Hands still numb. Completely numb. 
like, hey, how you doing? You see that? I can move them. So that's good. But, like, you know how, like, when you sleep on something and, like, your hand feels so, or your arm or whatever you slept on feels so swollen that it's going to fall off? That's literally my fingers 24-7. It's been like that for three days now. Except my pinky. My pinky doesn't feel anything. Like, I, I, there's no tingle or nothing. And, I'm yeah, we're watching The Office now. Hell, yeah. I asked for a salad for dinner. This is what I got. A tomato and a couple pieces of lettuce. At least I got ranch on the side, right? My mom's bringing me Subway right now. This is, <laughs> this is crazy. My mom just got here. Look at my salad. I asked, I asked for a side salad. Look at it. It's... It's one piece of tomato and one lettuce. Uh, what do you think of it? No comment. I work for this institution. Did you bring the subway? Yeah, I did. Thank God. All right, so I'm all packed up for Disney World. We got 17 bags in bed. And I got my hat back, so I'm a lot happier than I was. To the next room. We went in right from the beginning. I told you, the sky hit the limit. I can't let nothing get in my way. Don't care what they gotta say I'ma do my thing, you already know Pull up in the bins, oh she ready to go Ride with me, baby, yeah, ride with me Going to the moon, baby, come and fly with me, yeah Winning, yeah, we winning, ain't nobody <sighs> Alright guys, so we are in our fourth room in about three days now Um, last night was brutal because the pain was insane in the leg But we got our rehab times here, 9 to 10 10 to 11.30. Hopefully we can get out of here soon. We got two week program, so. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's not bad. Looks like apartment room, really. Just chilling. Still can't move, so we'll get there eventually. <sighs> well, we got some good news. I actually made it into a wheelchair here thanks to some PT people. They helped me takes two people to get me in this chair, but at least we're in a chair. Hopefully we can leave tomorrow or something. I doubt it. Now I'm waiting for someone to help me shower. I don't love that. That's a little weird. I don't, I don't, I don't like like having people help me do like simple tasks. And honestly, it's crazy because you take advantage of like, or you take for granted like walking and being able to do this stuff. Cause it's like when you can, it's just so easy. And you don't even think of like losing that until you can't do it, man. It's, it's crazy. It's sad, but one day at a time. <sighs> Alrighty, y'all. Well, it is day six already at the hospital. Um, I don't know you can, if you can tell, but my spirit is a tiny bit more up. Honestly, I just, I've had like two other vlogs like done and already made for like a while now. I just haven't really felt like wanting to post or anything. I just kind of wanted to rest and try to like recover as much as I can at the moment. Um, you want to see what I woke up today? Look at this thing. This is the most, it looks so bad on camera. Yeah, it looks real bad. It looks like I'm a zombie. Like, honestly, like, you can see it's all discolored. This is all bruised right here. And keep in mind, this is my good leg. Um, we got this that looks like just straight up AIDS. Like, it got shot with a Barrett 50 cal. But, I, what'd you say this was from? You think the compression sleeve? Yeah. I, I, maybe someone put it on, like, a little too tight or something. And um, it just kind of swell. It, I can't even look at it anymore. It actually kind of makes me a bit nauseous. But um, day six in the hospital. I'm actually leaving the rehab center today, which is a little ashamed because I was just able to stand up yesterday. <laughs> and I'm leaving. But I was able to walk up and down the hallway t twice um, with a walker like this, but it had wheels. And I figured today would be kind of like a good a little update video of show i mean kind of just show you where i'm at and um tomorrow is the surgery i'm leaving this place in literally 30 minutes to go to what the bone place and unit. bone and joint unit and i guess i'm going to be spending some time there uh so we're just going to get a nurse in hopefully she's okay with this and uh let's let's try to get up laying down to standing up should be entertaining let's see how long this takes i wish they could show them the dive move no, they don't want to see that, trust me. That this is the hardest part, like, actually getting out of the bed. Can we move this? My hands are still numb, by the way. Day six, hands are still numb, or hand. This is all from a 360. Where are your knee pads? 
You think if I wore knee pads, I would be a little better off? No. No? No. It's a little harder than I expected, I'm actually. You don't want the rail up? No. Don't worry, I'm not going to fall. <laughs> I wouldn't seem so worried that I'm going to fall. I do have well, a fall risk band. You have no idea of the like red tape if somebody falls in the hospital. Yeah. Okay. And we care about you. Now, um, can we go a little higher? Mm -hmm. It's probably going to look a lot less pretty because I've already done this, like, what do you think, eight times today? Yeah. Um, just a tiny bit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh. Are we on a cord or anything? I think you're on the back cord right. with the back good. leg of the walker. Oh. The other side. You gotta bring it forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, he just wants to show everybody he can stand up. Do we? Do you need me to grab any bags or anything? Uh. <sighs> We're standing up. Maybe one bag. <laughs> Good job. One, yeah. Should we yeah. move around a little or no? Am I getting too cocky? Yeah, because you don't have a wheelchair behind you. And you can't... Well, what if we just do a circle real quick? No, absolutely not without a wheelchair behind you. You can't even... <laughs> you, and that doesn't have wheels on it. Yeah. All right. Well. So, because you can't... You're not using that leg. You're using your arm. This is the last time I'm going to stand up before surgery. But, like, my knee's pretty good right now. That's good. We're talking about maybe getting, thank you, getting an, an MRI to check for the ligaments and stuff. Cause like, thank you. You want to come close to this? I can't see the screens off. Just now. But if you can see, like this is all like yeah, swollen like, and stuff. Gross on Doesn't it look like I'm a zombie? Mm. Um, yeah, this isn't really normal to like, because this is like day six. Like you think the healing or the swelling would go down, not like this. Mm. Yeah, well, it's and, a pretty bad injury. And one of the PTs, like, she couldn't tell me for, like, certain or stuff, but she, what did she do, like, an ACL test? Yeah. And, like, she, like, held my knee, and, like, she, like, like I said, she, she can't, um, confirm anything, but she felt like, she felt like my knee was a little loose. Should, um, probably go, because we got about four people outside waiting, and I don't want to be rude. I think I'm a nice patient. I mean, you're a nurse. Do you deal with more angry monsters? Of or people like me? Of course. Okay. All patients are wonderful. <laughs> She's just saying that they're awful and they suck. Well, a lot of them do. I think I'm a great, I, I'm a great time though. I definitely keep them on their toes. I think so. Oh my, the, the starfish. I just can't get my leg up. That's the problem. <laughs> oh my God. You are <sighs> not going to want to put this on, on no, the internet. I don't care. <laughs> this is it. This is my life right now. Uh, All right. I'll see you guys down in bone and surgery. Bone and joint. That's what it was. Packing up the cart or the bed. Got my dinner. They actually got me a side salad this time. You want to open this real quick? <laughs> that doesn't look bad. What about the, the main course? It actually looks pretty good. What? What is it? Macaroni with a side of macaroni? Why is it like two separate things? I don't know. I guarantee you it doesn't taste as uh, It doesn't look like it. I don't know. I think it looks... I mean, comparatively to the other stuff, it looks decent. Yeah, I wish I showed that lasagna. Oh, that was so That gross. was so bad. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got to the other room. I, are my cheeks rosy right now? A little bit. They look a little rosy. It's warm in here. Anyways, um, okay. they dropped off a toy. What's this toy? the incentive spirometer so you don't get pneumonia to make sure i don't die um no to make sure you don't get pneumonia and you know how to use this thing yes what do i do so you have to put this mouthpiece in your mouth yeah put your lips around it like you're sucking out of a giant straw <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were saying something else oh uh, well no, no. please <laughs> i mean if that's what you want no to no 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 but... i wasn't even thinking that but right. okay oh well, your head went there no <laughs> all right so you put it in your mouth like you're sucking on a big straw. Yeah. And then you take a slow, deep inhale and you try to get up to the number marked on here. Two thousand. Yeah, sure. We'll what's the easier. what's the healthy number? It depends on your body weight and your height. But your you'll be able age. to tell me if I'm healthy real quick. Well, no. I mean, I'm not a pulmonologist. It's just the get air in your lungs. So the the key is though a slow, deep breath. 
like Slowly, over the period not of like just, a few seconds. Not like, just huff it really hard. Like five seconds, try to hold it at the top and then exhale. Okay. So I'm gonna drain it all the way. Does this have to sit like that? Oh my, that's ridiculous. I got to 4,500. My mom got to 2,000. <laughs> I did it through a mask. You got to 2,000. I was getting nervous for my health. I did Are you it, all right? I did it through a triple layer I mask. I think I can get it to 5,000. Oh, I'm not putting my mouth after that. Ooh, that one hurt. Well, I mean, you're taking gigantic those, breaths. It's all those bong rips. I know, right? 2012 bong rips. I don't want to know that. I'm your mother. Um, So is it safe to say I'm not going to get No, ammonia? you have to do that 10 times an hour. Oh, this is just a thing to train your lungs? It's just the exercise. I exer thought this was to tell you, like, hey, you're healthy. Oh, it's to exercise your lungs so your small airways don't close and you get pneumonia. It's especially important after surgery. I've never been put under before. And they're going to put a tube down my throat i mean i would assume if you're getting general but he did also say he was giving you local so maybe i don't what know what is local and what's general general is you get anesthesia that goes systemically through your whole body so it puts you to sleep local is just numbing the area that they're working and i'm in. awake so i'll be on ketamine again that was fire no, they won't use ketamine they'll probably use prop propofol fentanyl versed you know i don't think they're gonna make me be up for that no no you're not gonna be awake i'm saying well i was technically awake with the ketamine. yeah the what? Fetamine. That's what it's called, right? Ketamine. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to do my one techniques and... Um, All right, let's see your 10 times. 10 times? We'll do a time lapse. Ready? Getting a little lightheaded. That's because you're taking like gigantic breaths. Oh, my. You look like you're s smoking something. <laughs> I don't know how else to do it. Like, actually. <laughs> you don't have to go that. Like, you don't have to go all the way up to 4,000. I feel dizzy. Because you're hyperventilating. That's way too much volume. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm ripping a six-footer. <laughs> Just go up to where I put it. 2,000? I can that's, pump that out in two seconds. That's fine. The bottom of it is the volume. I'm going to be sick. I can't do this. <laughs> Great. I feel like my brain is losing oxygen right now. That's because you're kicking out too much CO2 because you're taking too deep breaths. Give me the drugs. You're your own worst enemy. If only YouTube could have seen you get in that bed like a starfish. <laughs> that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> That's my third time. I get s more scared. If you know, I was your nurse, I'd be like, oh my God, I can't have this patient. It's scaring me. I don't know. I think they loved me. No, I mean, you're nice and you're funny, but, I mean, getting into bed You think I'm a funny guy, huh? Hazardous. Hazardous. Yeah, you're like your mother. I'm comical. I'm too. a walking hazard? Absolutely. That's what they say. I'm well, a walking you're not a walking, walrus. you're not a walking hazard anymore. You're you're a gimping hazard. Gimping, yeah. All right, well, I guess I'm just going to sit here for the rest of the night. I have to wake up at 5.30 to get the surgery. Mm -hmm. I feel weird right now. Because you were hyperventilating. You put the. So what the hell is the point of this? To kill you? No, you're not supposed to do it like an animal. I wanted to get to the highest point. If that's, I'm going to do something, I'm going to try to do it to my that's best ability. That's not the point. Then you're hyperventilating. That's not the point. That's not where I put it. You can't even make the two pass. Well, I have a mask on. All right, well, see you guys when I'm dead. You're not going to be dead. Stop saying that. I mean, there is a 1% chance. <sighs> you're not going to be dead. Rod knock luck. No, don't say that. All right, guys, so it's currently about 11 o'clock right now. Surgery is in about, geez, six hours. I'm not going to lie, I'm terrified. I mean, everyone's telling me it's going to be fine and everything. It's just I've never been put under before, and I get some freaking anxiety about hospitals and stuff. But they gave me, like, a Valium and some painkillers and stuff, so kind of just sitting here. And, of course, you want to know the rod knock off right now? Just got a fever of 101.3 randomly, just... Head start getting hot, everything's getting hot. Fever. COVID. Hope not. I would. 
I wonder if you can, I hope you can see me great. I don't want to turn the light on, it's too bright, but anyways, hopefully this isn't my last time saying anything to the camera, so hope his surgery goes good, I'll let you know. Just wanted to go on one more rant before I go to bed. This time is just, honestly, it's going by pretty quick. Last time I talked to you guys was like 11 o'clock. It's already 1 o'clock now, and I spent the last half an hour going to the bathroom right there. It took me a half an hour to get up with the walker. I guess you can say walk to the bathroom right there. Sit on a commute. What is it? A computer? Cam pooper. Yeah. And um, it's just this thing that goes over the toilet to like elevate you more so it's easier to get up and stuff. But I had to sit on that thing. The weirdest thing is like nurses have to sit out here. And it's weird, man. I don't want anyone helping me poop. It's definitely a weird experience. And I just want to take the second that like appreciate what you got, man, because I definitely took walking and everything for granted because like I've never had anything, I guess you can say like serious wrong with me. I guess I don't have anything seriously wrong with me right now other than a broken wrist and a shattered ankle and whatever the hell's wrong with my knee. I think we're going to do an MRI because it, it, it's bad for sure and the swelling's not going down, but uh. Yeah, man, just enjoy life and enjoy what you're doing because at a blink of an eye, things can change quick. But we're going to keep our head up through this. I'm confident that, that, I'm confident that the surgery is going to go well. Probably not going to get any sleep, but I guess we'll try. See ya. Ah, well, another update. It's currently almost 8 o'clock. They were supposed to get me at like 6, 5.30. And they did my blood and everything, but I'm still waiting. Of course, I woke up with 101 fever. Can't win, man. Nothing but bad news here. And uh, I guess I'm just waiting to see if they're going to do it. If they're going to postpone it. Which, if they postpone it, that's really going to suck. Because I've already been here for six days. Like, if I got the surgery today, I was going to want to stay here another night, maybe two. Just to feel how the pain is and everything. And, like, see how manageable it is. And see if I can walk a little better. Just because I don't want to leave and be screwed at home, you know. But, um, if I don't get the surgery today... I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> well, guys, great news. Surgery is not happening today. The soonest it can happen now is Monday. Keep in mind, it is Friday, and I've and I've already been here since last Saturday. And they want to bring me up to the COVID floor because I guess there's a good potential that I will have COVID. I don't, I don't think that's true because I came here, and four days ago, I had a fever. And they tested me for COVID, and it came back negative. And honestly, I pro I mean, even the doctor said I probably just have a fever because, like, I'm so swollen and I have a bit of anxiety and, like, it's just kind of normal to have. Again, it's not, like, a high fever. The highest I've hit was, like, 101, but um, they have to follow the CDC guidelines. And I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to just go home at this point. I do not want to go to that COVID floor because with my luck, I'm going to end up getting it because of that. So don't want to have COVID in broken limbs. This is literally my worst nightmare. Literally my worst nightmare. <sighs> well, guys, it looks like I'm just going to end the video right here. This was supposed to be like a celebratory video. Like, hey, I got the surgery. I plan on leaving in a few days. Just want to see if I can manage pain and everything. But nope. Going up to the COVID floor. Just got tested for COVID. Got that stupid thing shoved up my nose for the fourth time in my life now. Thing is awful. It's, it came back negative every single time. I guess we'll find out this time. You know, I I do have a super swollen ankle, super swollen knee, leg, wrist, all of this stuff. But hey, got a fever, COVID. This sucks, man. I'm super upset. I just don't want to go to that floor because if I don't have it, and that's the floor where everyone has it, oh, it really sucks. And tomorrow's Courtney's birthday, and she was gonna come hang out with me and stuff after the surgery. Her presents were gonna be here and everything. Nope, can't even see her. Can't even see her on her birthday because COVID. Guess if you guys like this video, give it a th thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. I'm sad, man. I really am. This really sucks. Guess I'll talk to you in the next one if I have COVID or not.